Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually a super exciting one. I have been working on this video for many, many months because it was a work in progress and I finally decided to make a video and edit it and just post it because honestly, it's never gonna be fully done. Well, you read it from the title, I am doing a big room makeover for my room. My room is very important to me. It's not only the place where I sleep and be creative, but also the place where I work because I work from home. So it's like basically my home office. So my room has to be comfortable, pretty, aesthetic, but also a place where I can be very productive and motivates me. So the general idea of my room is that I want to get like the inspiration from my key dramas that I've been watching, so many pastels, but here and there some spots of colors. So let me show you how my room is actually looking right now. It's completely a mess, it's all over the place, um, so many colors, so many different things. Uh, the walls were super damaged, my dad fixed them, so we have a lot of work to do. So let me sketch you my room. So here will be my bed. I'm gonna draw a bed and next to my bed there will be my desk. So actually the setup is not changing that much if I think so. And let's draw a laptop here. Uh, that doesn't really look like a laptop, wait, I'm gonna do it over again. Um, it does have to look like kind of decent so you know what I'm actually drawing. Um, and next to the door, I want my big mirror and next to my mirror, I want my new closet. But then um, my closet was way too big, so I need to get like a smaller one because I really want to use that corner for like all the stuff for editing and, you know, like my cameras in there, you know, just to hide everything in my yoga mat, you know, so it's not like that visible. And next to it, you have like this... Um, how does it call a cabinet like where i can put like all my skincare and you know display my k-pop albums and stuff like that so that's actually the eye catcher of my room i would say and next to my bed there will be a table um here i'm trying to draw a circle um it's not working that well so oh, bear with me Okay, so the table, um, I use the table to put on my galaxy lamp and it's also like sort of a charger table for all my cameras and if I want to like charge something, I just put it on that small table. It's like a little bit out of the way. So now you know the general idea of how I want to do like my room setup. So now let's go to the actual um, makeover and start painting the walls. Mm, it's kind of like sort of off-white color. I think it's really beautiful. Easiest thing to do when to create space is put everything in the other room. Like in this case, my sister's room. <laughs> so to protect my beautiful rainbow, I used some masking tape. So to make sure that my brother doesn't touch my rainbow. But then I decided I'm going to get rid of my rainbow. It served its purpose and it was something from last year. So it's time for a new chapter and we say goodbye to our beautiful rainbow. So this is how the walls are looking so far. So I'm done with painting. Well, actually my brother did the majority of it. So I'm gonna clean everything up. I did it! I'm done with my closet, yay! And I must spare you like all the things. Um, here I put like most of the time my skincare, and I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I went to, and I want to about this. This is actually for the kitchen for your plates. Um, like you put here plates, here plates, here, and I thought perfect for my skincare. Like then I have different levels. Like I don't know like how. How pretty it's gonna look, so we will see. And um, and I got these containers, so I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. 
So I saw on Pinterest a lot of easy DIYs to do to decorate your room and I thought to, that I should like give it a try even though I'm super clumsy and I'm not good at DIYing stuff. So the first thing that I want to do is create a washi tape holder. Um, this one I haven't seen on Pinterest, I just saw those little containers you know for your kitchen again and i thought perfect for my washi tape so i just here i am trying it out because i wasn't you know sure if it's gonna work or not if it didn't work i was just you know use it actually for the kitchen so what i did was actually just uh, glue them together and to make sure that the washi tape is not gonna fall out, I have here some wood and I'm gonna like make an edge so the washi tape will not like roll out of it. So you can basically use this method I think for every kind of container that you have. So here I have wood but plastic would work also fine. So just run to your dollar store and get get it it's it's going to be super beautiful So because this one I will be like displaying, I give it a little bit of pink, so that will be the pop of color in my room. Some boys began to drink beer and whiskey. A few began to smoke marijuana. For the next DIY, it's actually more decorating my flower pot. I want to use a lot of colors here, a lot of doodling, and the doodling doesn't have to make any sense. Just, you know, like some figures here and there, you know, just to give it that color and that sort of minimalistic but also cute look. And my third DIY are those mirror, but with the border and I make the border with clay so I actually saw this on TikTok and Pinterest and I know for a fact that I am not good at you know doing working like in general with clay but still I pushed myself to do it because I really want like my room to be like kind of unique even though it's like super ugly so I really did push myself even though I wasn't really happy with the results so I went for the colors red and yellow so for the end results take place till the end and you'll see how it's gonna look because at the end it was kind of okay so the part that took the most was um decorating my room because i'm i have a quite busy schedule and decorating is such a luxury <laughs> it's not like that important as you know assembling your closet or whatever so now it's like time to decorate, put things into place. What I did was, you know, get rid of all my old makeup, um, stationery, you know, all that stuff that I don't use anymore so I can have more place for new things and, you know, still have that minimalistic look. when you enter what you actually see so let's start from the right so 
So first thing is this big ass mirror, so handy. Um, and on the back, I just hang here my frequently used handbags and also my laptop bags. I have two of them. I have here this beautiful plant, which is, I don't know, like it's the first time I'm actually taking care of a plant and it's starting to die. Or maybe it's dry. I really don't know. If you guys know what's wrong with my plants, do tell me. And here we have our like weather from wendy album so this is how it looks um, and further we have this corner which i put here everything my camera uh, my tripod everything like cables and stuff my my light box my yoga mat like just random stuff just i just hit it right here so it's not visible <laughs> So here I have another plant, but this one is easier to take care of. Pot that I painted, so it's so beautiful. Like it's, I don't know, it gives like so much color and it's super cute. So next, my plant. I have here my makeup brushes, all of my makeup, and also my skincare. And as you can see, I have not a lot of skincare, but these are really my frequently used skincare and because of the plate thingy that I got, I have now like a level so it's kind of beautiful, it's, it looks aesthetic so I'm happy with it so below it I have here all of my nail things and polaroid camera, my k-pop journal and here you have my washi tape holder I think it's really cute, honestly it's cute and you know just some random stuff that I want there, like my books, my journals And here and there are some um, K-pop cards that I want, you know, to be seen. So it's really beautiful and I'm really happy. So here we have my desk, my most frequently used thing in my room. Um, there I have all of my stationery. Even though I have a laptop, I still have an external monitor because that's so much easier when working. One of my favorite things is my keyboard. I love it so much so next my desk my bed is just you know a simple white bed nothing too special about it and then above my bed I have more k-pop cards and also the DIY that I made which I think it's kind of cute okay it's not like the most prettiest thing but it's cute so I'll leave it there next to my bed I also have this small table with my galaxy lamp um, best investments I made ever as an adult so happy with it it's so beautiful when it's evening so let's switch to the evening and look you guys this is like a whole new experience like when I'm meditating when I'm editing when I'm like looking in the mirror it's so beautiful it's really beautiful and also in combination with my keyboard this is a whole new experience you guys so i want to thank you so so much for watching and i hope you liked this video it's kind of a little bit different than the content that i used to but i thought that i would share this process with you and give you also a little bit some interior inspiration so subscribe if you like this and if you haven't already of course so see you next time bye